Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I just want to take a moment to think about all of those infected with coronavirus as well as all of those who are affected by the coronavirus. May all of us remain safe and for those of us who are infected, may we recover soon. So this week's Oracle card reading is using the Energy Oracle and we have three options here. We have the option one, two, and three. That's a better look at the option number one. And uh, if you don't like these figures, which I could understand if you didn't, um, you can just choose between one, two, and three. So I'm going to go ahead and begin with option one. So for those of you who've chosen this option, we're asking, whoops, a couple of cards have flown out already, but I'm not going to go with those. I'm just going to keep asking until I feel it's ready to to pick a card. So, okay, there's a couple more. So I think this is the one we can go with. So it says, third chakra, Archangel Shemuel. So I think here the advice is to stay one within yourself and to actually work within yourself. So whatever this week's this week brings to you, it's important to work within you. And the advice here is to work with the third chakra. So I'm assuming that during this week, you will feel a loss of energy, a loss of drive, a uh, difficulty to motivate yourself. And you may feel worry about that because of um, the lack of energy that you may be experiencing. In some cases, you might be quite tired and this would lead you to feel quite depleted. In in the in this situation, it's important to work with the third chakra. So the message I'm getting here is that you have been strained. You are at strain and you need to detox and you need to work again on making that light from with a new shine. So what you need to do is work with the organs in that range of the third chakra, as well as work with the light that burns within you. So focus on where you can gain motivation from again. What will help you allow your own light to burn brighter? Regarding what the circumstances are in this week, find that with, which burns within you. Find that zest within you. That's actually going to help you to, to burn forth and burn brightly. Now, for some of you, this is just a situation that you're experiencing, or this is just a feeling that you're experiencing at this current moment. And this is not um, generally the space that you're in. But for those of you who are feeling that this is how you usually feel and this is what, you know, you've been feeling depleted for quite some time and you don't actually know how you can go about um, firing up that energy in you again. I would suggest that you begin with doing a full uh, chakra cleanse. So you actually uh, do a cleansing and a balancing of your chakras. And you can you can do this by yourself um, through a meditation that I'm sure you could find online or you could do it with the aid of another and once you've done that, then once you've removed the blockages or whatever is standing in the way of you being able to build this, then feel how it is and where it is that you can build this energy from again. Very often, this energy is depleted by naysayers. So focus or, or identify rather, not focus, but identify the naysayers in your life and think about where somebody's told you that you're not being um, good enough or you are not doing what you should be doing when you were actually being yourself. Okay, so focus on where it is that you need to be yourself more regardless of what others may think of that or regardless of what the reaction would be if you were that way in the outside world. So um, this is not to encourage any criminal activity or any uh, antisocial behavior, but rather to suggest to you to bring out that best part of you, which is yearning to come forth and actually contribute and be a part of this world by being whole within yourself. And the only way that you can actually do this is if you allow that fire to burn within you once again and burn brightly. And um, the energy that I'm getting here is that it's really important to be able to speak your voice or to be able to say what you want to say, regardless of how it will be received. It's really important to stand your ground as far as that is concerned. So say what you want to say and do what is right for you, regardless of what others may think of it or, what reg or regardless of how others would perceive that. 
Um, this card also talks about the uh, the presence of angelic um, beings or angelic energy there to support you. So you would, regardless of whether you believe in in, the, in angels or not, um, you will feel supported during this time. You will actually feel like the world is holding you in some kind of way, that you're not alone in this, that you are being held, that you are um, that you are in communion communion with others in this situation that you are facing right now, whatever that may be. And with that comes an eternal and a an overall wisdom, a kind of community wisdom that that is like a wave that passes through you. So with that comes a lot of energy and a lot of um, different types of emotions. So if you feel a very many different types of emotions coming up with this or with this feeling of identification with a community, then let that come through you and pass through you and see what's residual in, in, in you thereafter. See what it is that is still within you and be able to identify what it is that is your energy as opposed to the energy that you are picking up from outside of you because this might be an energy that's really good but it could also be um, something that's not as good so it could also uh, have some anxiety or, any, or something to it not necessarily anxiety, but something with it that which will make you feel that you are being undermined on some level. So it's important that you recognize this, that is, it comes from outside of you and it's not that you are undermining yourself. The undermining energy is what would actually deplete that energy from your solar plexus. So work with that and see that you are not undermining yourself and that nothing that's coming towards you is undermining you. Work to build yourself up and to remember that which is you, that which is part of uh, an, an important part of who you are and what drives you and what makes you go ahead, what makes you go forth and what makes you go forth in, in optimism. Um, if you have an overall pessimistic attitude, it's very hard to be able to build this um, this third chakra energy, the solar plexus energy, because you're constantly depleted. So every negative word, every negative outlook that you have is going to constantly deplete that and you're not going to be able to build it up. So it's like showing up that energy and that, that light within you. And the way to do it is to remain positive during this time as well. And I just want to emphasize that this is a card uh, where it talks about you being yourself. So as much as there's this influence of community that will make you feel held on some level and perhaps... Um, is a, um, a point for you to be able to identify uh, other negative influences or harsher influences. It is important for you to recognize that you are alone in this and that you are an individual and you are unique in your composition. So I feel like it's really important for you to realize this in this week uh, because you are going to be standing alone and you're going to be fending for yourself here. And you have all the strength that you need to as you go ahead with this. So bear that in mind and have a wonderful week as you go along. And uh, I wish for you that you stay healthy and safe and many, many blessings for you. All right. So moving on to the next one. So for those of you who have chosen the second option here, we are asking, what is it that we need to know in this week as we go ahead? What is it that we need to know in this week as we go ahead? Oops, a couple of cards have flown out, but I feel it's that card here. Okay, so this is a card. Um, it says man holding a coin. It's the number 43, and he has a pentacle, which he has in his hand. I want to say that this is a card for me, which talks about luck. It talks about l luck coming your way. It talks about things turning out for the better. So if you have any anxiety at all around money or around anything material, if you are feeling at any point in your life that you have the lack of something, a lack of, like you don't have something or you don't, you're unable to purchase it or you're unable to, you do not have enough money to purchase it or you don't have the right, whatever it is, this card is saying, well, it's actually okay. You actually are going to find a solution that is going to make you happy and that you are in fact going to be coming into some money. So whatever the situation is right now, you are going to be coming into some financial uh, abundance or some material abundance. So this is not only referring to 
that which is financial, but it could also be something that's material. So as far as the week is concerned, and as far as um, moving ahead is concerned in this time, this is a card which ma which makes gives me the feeling that you're all going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay for you. And you can actually go ahead with that confidence. You can actually understand that the light is shining quite strongly upon you right now. And this light represents favors from the divine, so to say, that fate is actually working in your favor at this moment, and that there's only something to be happy about. So if there, if there is a feeling of loss um, of money during this time, you need to understand that it's important for you at this point to keep your vibration as, as um, high as possible. And the way in which to do this with regard to financial affairs is to actually um, feel as if you have all that you need right now. Feel as if you have um, as many of the things that you need and enjoy the vibration of money. Enjoy it. Now, if you are listening to this and you're thinking, okay, is she going to stop talking about money and finances? Well, I want to say that as far as love is concerned or health is concerned, this is also a positive card in whichever area of your life that you've, you're asking a question. This is a positive card. So with health, this is a card that almost assures you of your of your well-being and your and your health. And if you've been unwell, then this is a card that's talking about your health um, getting better. And it might mean that it's going to take a long time to get better, but it is going to get better. And I, but having said that, uh, this is not an okay for you to go out and take any risks as far as your health is concerned. Play it safe, nevertheless. Okay. As far as love is concerned, um, it is a card that can talk about love actually being available this week and love and somebody taking an interest in you during this time. So it might be virtual, it might be somebody that you meet. But you very, very certainly feel the presence of this person because their energy would be quite strong and quite um, imposing, so to say, but not in a negative manner or not in a, in a manner that will make you feel uncomfortable, but rather that it will actually um, make you realize that it's there. You won't be able to ignore it. Let's put it that way. So on the whole, this is a great energy and a great time for you to be able to um experience that confident energy, that energy where things are going right and you don't have to worry about anything else. Now, if you're in the midst of some kind of crisis uh, or you are in the midst of um, something that's worrying you and um, concerning you, that quite um, it's something that's occupying your mind right now, and you're asking, what are you talking about? Like, you know, why are you, why are you going on about how wonderful everything is when things are falling apart here? Well, I want to say that it's really important during this time to be able to appreciate all that you have and uh, to be able to recognize the little things that are going right. Do you have electricity? Do you have running water? Are you breathing right now? If you are, then you are still one of the privileged persons in the world if you have an internet connection and you're watching this, you're a privileged person in the world. And so this is not a lecture on how to be and how to feel, but rather that um, this card is talking about being appreciative for those things, of those things, and then recognizing how much you have already. Um, this card is not about poverty. It's not about actually, you know, sitting there with your last um, can of beans in your home and not having anything else to eat. And, and it's not saying then, you know, just feel all uh, hunky-dory and it's all going to be fine. It's not a card like that. It doesn't, it doesn't assume such things. It asks you simply to humbly appreciate that which you have and recognize that which you have. But nevertheless, you're still having a turn of luck or a turn of fate, things coming your way that are going to be um, that are going to be, make you happy, that are going to make you feel like you are doing well in your life. And this is something that you can actually look forward to at this time. So take that on. And I, I think that during this week, if you need to choose a number, if you need to do something with regard to a number, choose the number seven, um, because it is going to be the number that 
um, that it will actually work for you. I want to say one other thing um, that the darkness is setting in, in your life and the, the light is rising in your life. And even though the light rising may create dark shadows in your life at this moment, don't, don't depend on the, on the dark shadows uh, and don't see the dark shadows as, as a guide for where you're at right now because dark shadows can only be created by very strong light okay so go with that message and i hope that this actually helps you as you go along this week please stay safe and stay healthy and many many blessings to you all for those of you who've chosen the third option here we're asking what is it that we need to know as we go along in this week what is it that we need to know as we go along in this week and wow i think it's this one here so for those of you who've chosen the third option, we have the number 20 and the card of envy. So this card is actually talking about one's duality, um, that which is positive in oneself and one that which is negative, that which is happy and that which is sad, that which is humble and that which is not. And it goes on and it asks you to recognize that aspect of you, which is not always as you would like yourself to be. So this is not necessarily a negative aspect of yourself. However, you may see yourself in this light um, or in a negative light, or you may see another in a negative light. And it asks you to recognize that this is simply your duality at play. This is simply your, um, your complexity at play, how complicated you are. And this is not necessarily a bad thing. It's simply adding to your texture and adding to that which you consider to be your depth. Now it might actually seem as if um, it's raining down only on you right now and the sun is shining on others and you may be asking and wondering why is this so? Why is this happening at this moment and why is this happening to you or to those around you? And I feel that um, with this card it actually says that it's okay sometimes to be upset. It's okay to feel that um, these emotions, whatever they are, because once again, it's simply, it boils down to your duality. It boils down to that which is the other part of you. And sometimes you need to be able to experience that and experience an emotion that is not always positive to be able to experience one's life in a positive light. So for those of you who are not resonating at all with this or you go through the week and you think oh, there was no time when I felt any envy or any anger or any negative emotion at all, I wonder what she was talking about. Well, I think here it talks about the, the feeling of actually being at one with oneself regardless of, one's, of the various aspects of oneself, regardless of that which you're made of or up of. So there's a feeling here that you want to identify with only one aspect of yourself, that aspect which is doing a certain way or climbing a certain social ladder or um, having so much of um, money in your bank account or having um, a certain status, whatever that is. And this card is saying to me that you you don't need to just identify with that part of you which you are not right now, that part of you which you aim to be, that part of you which you, you dream of being. It's important for you to also be appreciative and be happy about that part of you which is just you right now. And if you are not going through a very good time right now, and if you're ignoring that part of you which is you, if you're angry with yourself or if you're hard on yourself at this moment, then what this card is saying is that you're actually being hard on that part of you which is divine as well as that part of you which is not divine. So it's almost to say that, you know, you can't only celebrate the good times. You also need to celebrate those times when things are not going well. You can't just give up on your spirit or your being and that which is you during t the times that things that, that you feel that you're failing or that things are not going as well as you'd planned it to be or as well as you'd like it to be, you need to be appreciative of all. And um, there's a saying that comes to mind, it's like rolling with the punches. And um, yeah, I think that this is what this energy is about. It's saying, well, roll with the punches, it's going to be okay. And you need to be able to appreciate these times as well enough so that you can appreciate the good times that are lie ahead or are simply 
within your reach. It's, it is within your reach. You need to choose to step out of the darkness, to step out of the rain and step into the sunshine and step away from the space that you're in right now. And you might be saying, well, how's that going to happen? Because you know, we are in this pandemic and we are facing the, the crisis and, uh, you know, we can't just switch it off. Well, in that case, this card is actually referring to you being able to switch your attitude, uh, being able to switch your mind, your approach to things. Um, you can't control things that are external to you, but you can actually control the way in which you approach it, whether you approach it with despair or whether you approach it with uh, a hope and an attitude that this too shall pass and this too will be behind us. And in the meanwhile, let's do the best that we can. Let's not damage our spirits. Let's not damage our being because we are upset about something that's beyond us. Let's not damage our spirit or our being uh, because we are disappointed in ourselves because things are not working out as well as they ought to be at this moment or because you haven't reached a certain goal that you've placed for yourself. So if these, um, I'm not saying that every single one of you are disappointed with yourself or not having reached certain goals, etc. But this is the kind of energy that this card uh, attracts to it. It's usually a card of unhappiness, a card of despair, a card of wanting to be somewhere but not being able to get there, a card of recognizing that it's okay to not be there and it's okay to be exactly where you are right now and that's part of the lesson for this time and it's part of life it's part of life it's the cycle of life sometimes it goes well and sometimes it goes not so well and it's all okay every part of life is okay all right so i hope that message has helped you i hope that um i hope that as you go along in this week that you stay safe and you stay blessed and um, you keep healthy and so do those around you. I'm sending you all much love and many, many blessings. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.